This is the build of my TurtleBot 3 Burger Robot, which is powered by a Raspberry Pi 3 running the robotic operating system ROS. I'll talk about the assembly and show you what it looks like. The kit comes with everything you need. It includes a pretty detailed assembly manual with a comprehensive list of safety precautions, including my favorite, do not eat any part of this product. The TurtleBot 3 Burger is capable of being operated remotely or navigating autonomously. The kit comes complete with everything you need to build the robot, including tools, a LiPo battery and charger, and the Raspberry Pi computer. It also includes an OpenCR, which was developed specifically for ROS embedded systems, and has a Cortex M7 core, a 32 bit ARM processor. The wheels on the TurtleBot are driven by Dynamics motors. The TurtleBot navigates with two wheels and a ball roller. The TurtleBot 3 Burger Kit also comes with a 2D LiDAR that spins 360 degrees for SLAM and navigation functions. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, which helps the TurtleBot learn its environment. The TurtleBot is a modular robot that uses these waffle boards to build the chassis. Remember, do not eat them. The waffle boards snap together and are locked in place with four screws. The TurtleBot Burger's first layer consists of the two Dynamix motors connected to the wheels and tires, a ball caster underneath the plate, and the LiPo battery. The second layer includes the OpenCR controller that drives the wheels and has a variety of digital and analog input-output pins with lots of possibilities for expanding the platform. The third layer holds the Raspberry Pi, and the top layer secures the LiDAR. Although the TurtleBot is pretty easy to assemble, it is not a beginner project because of the moderate difficulty in using ROS to operate it. You'll need to install both Ubuntu Mate, which is a special Linux operating system designed to run on single board computers, and ROS on the Raspberry Pi. Even though ROS is an acronym for Robot Operating System, it is not an operating system but instead is more of a middleware that ties together device drivers, libraries, visualizers, package management, etc. ROS is open source and free to use.